project is the name of our workshop. We have been a fully registered business since 2011. We started with the idea in 2009, so government paperwork is very slow here. Um, we originally started thinking that, I started thinking that I would just help some local ladies make a little bit of extra money and I could teach them to stitch something, they could go away and make a little business and off they go, make a cool, a pretty something like that, which didn't really work out. But if I worked with them and I, we made things, I could sell them when I was overseas. Anybody a trial and see if they if they have the ability that we are looking for or want to learn and improve and develop that ability and if they want to be part of our gang. So we want people who are happy to work together as equals. So we expect everybody will share lunch. We want everyone treated with respect and equality. We use recycled silk saris to do a lot of work and we use Kadi, which is uh, Indian hand spun, hand woven cotton, completely handmade cotton fabrics. And we buy our we buy the uh, recycled saris from a dealer. All of the Kadi that we buy, we buy directly from weavers. So they're people that we have gone to their home and met and we know who they are and we put the money in their bank account and they send their fabric to us. The biggest problem India faces is there is not enough employment. Okay, there is not enough employment to keep all men properly, fully employed. So that doesn't leave many gaps for women to enter the workforce. Okay, so it's very sexist, but some of it is we need more jobs. If there were more jobs, then, then women would come into the workforce and everybody would get used to it very quickly. 